Dr. Rick Jacoby here. Question. People come into my office and say, I caught diabetes like they were just diagnosed like it was a virus or something. So a lot of times a patient will come in because they have a foot problem and I ask them when they got diabetes and they tell me they got it in the hospital when they had their heart attack as if they caught this disease somehow. No, heart disease is caused by sugar. And diabetics have the highest rate of cardiovascular disease. One of the symptoms of which is cardiac function does not pump the blood through the body as sufficiently as it should, and the foot swells. And when the foot swells, it causes symptoms, and it dilates the blood vessels like the veins. And you get what we call venous reflux, varicose veins, and they're painful, and they press on the nerves, and you get diabetic neuropathy as a consequence of sugar. So this physiology that we're talking about sounds like we just catch these diseases. They're not related. They're all separate and distinct. They're not. They have a common denominator, and it's our diet. Now, am I saying that every disease ever discovered is caused by sugar? Pretty close to it. Pretty close. Let's take a disease like Alzheimer's. So Dr. Alzheimer, early 1900s, noticed a patient who had loss of memory and at autopsy, they started to see changes in the brain. Well, what was causing those changes? They never look at that. They only look at the effect. It's like going to an accident scene. Sure, there's going to be broken blood vessels all over the place. They're broken glass. There's the effect of a trauma. The trauma in the human body is mainly caused by the biochemistry of sugar. So each tissue that is de destroyed or inflamed looks different, but the common denominator is our diet, and that in our diet is sugar, and specifically high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is a man-made product introduced into our diet in 1974. If you look at the curves, all diseases, all diseases in the Western world started to rise at that point in time. So let's talk about Alzheimer's. He noticed this, very, very small amounts of quote unquote dementia in the early 1900s. Now it's the number one cause of death for the, our aging population. Now the way I look at it is similar to the way Dr. Perlmutter looks at it. He's a neurologist. He's saying that dementia, Alzheimer's, is type 3 diabetes. And I agree with that. But I don't agree that we're going to name every inflammatory nerve type 3, type 4, type 7, type 788. Recently, Jimmy Buffett passed away, and he had Ramsey's Hunt disease, which is a variant of an inflammation of the facial nerve, similar to Bell's palsy. Now, is Ramsey Hunt disease type 782 cause of sugar? I think so, but we're not going to call them all these different type 1, 2, 3, 4. The other doctor who discovered a inflammation of the facial nerve was Dr. Bell, and you know it as Bell's palsy. So when sugar inflames a nerve, that nerve doesn't function. And if that nerve doesn't function, then you drool. That nerve innervates a muscle. Alzheimer's, olfactory nerve, it's inflamed. You lose your sense of smell is the first symptom, and then you lose your memory. What's the cause? Sugar. The same cause that causes diabetic neuropathy. Now, I know that is not a popular 
concept. I put that together 20 years ago and I named it the global compression theory. So if we take Dr. Dellen's theory of nerve compression for the carpal tunnel, the ulnar tunnel, diabetic neuropathy, all these nerves in the lower extremity, apply it to all the other nerves, which I did, then you have a comprehensive look at all these diseases. But medicine wants a solution with drugs. Now, I understand it. That's where the money is. But if you want to change your outcome, you need to change your diet. But you need the tools to self-observe with devices like Apollo or Blink and all the other ones we'll talk about. And then you can reverse this and become the ultimate urban carnivore.